Good evening and welcome to the Portland Expo. Jay Harper along with Michael Rulo as we get set for the semi-final matchup, the final of the night. Earlier tonight, Noble defeated Westbrook. It was an 11-point margin, but Noble was in control for the most of the game. Tonight, a rematch from only two weeks prior where Freeport lost 64, 56, an eight-point defeat to the number one seed, Gray to Gloucester. They come in top-seeded, lost two games all year. They were upset by Noble late in the season, and that's who, if they win, will be facing. And they also lost to Falmouth earlier in the year. The Falcons, meanwhile, have just had a, a great uh, game, the last game against Kenny Bunk. Kenny Bunk, they lost to by 20-plus points uh, two weeks ago down in Kenny Bunk, but they reversed that the other night. They led by 18 16 late in the game and then they struggled to finish out the contest but ended up winning by 10 64 54 they come in the four seed they're in the dark jerseys tonight and they're on uh, the other side of the bench and greater gloucester comes in in the white home team the number one seed and they'll be to the left of us tonight so this crowd this place is packed i i mean i'm impressed the noise in the prior game was intense couldn't even hear myself think as the loud screaming, trying to get camera and, and the, our setup going. We're in our same familiar perch that we have been the last three games, which is a great thing. It's hard to believe that we've been able to secure this spot each and every time. And the Falcons, first time since 2008 to win a playoff game, and it's the furthest they've been since that 2008 season when they went to the regional finals before bowing out to Cape Elizabeth. So crowd is here. The place is electric. Greater Gloucester, as we talked about, they travel so well. You can see the sea of red. They seem to always be sitting on the opposite side of us. You can see all their red jerseys. Their student section's huge. Ours is in black to the right of us. There's a, a good contingent of Freeport faithful. And, of course, down below, there's a huge fan. A lot of leftovers from the Gray Noble game as well. But this game, again, a rematch from a few weeks ago. Freeport came back in that game late and tied the game and had a shot to try to take the lead and missed. And then um, Gray came back and they hit a three, uh, one of their you know bench players. And I cannot remember the player that hit it. And But it was a shot that Gray wasn't looking for, didn't think would happen. It happened. And he hit it. Then they had a steal and a layup. And then Freeport had to foul. They ended up bowing out by eight points. Non-starters being introduced for Freeport. Alex Berry will get some minutes most likely. Vittner, definitely. Bryce Dwyer gets some action as well. Cody Wald, first real action the other night. He had two points off the bench, a couple of key rebounds as well, played well. Expect to see him some tonight. The Falcons coached by Tyler Tracy, assistant coach Conant, and the Patriots. 17 and 2 now after their win the other night convincingly over Freiburg, 69 to 52. Falcons come in 14 and 5. The 1 4 seed. All the top seeds advanced except for Westbrook, who upset Falmouth. And they bowed out tonight to a very good noble team that's playing extremely well. They'll be dangerous for either team they faced for sure. Greater Gloucester, coached by Ian McCarthy. Assistants Josh Walker and Joe Burnham. JV coach Wayne Martin. So now we'll get our starters. We'll listen in a little bit. Slocum, he's been battling a bruised or broken tailbone. Hard to decipher at this point. He's playing through the pain. One tough young man, football player. He's had a sensational season. He had 12 the other night. He can hit the threes. He can score inside. Still pronouncing Manikis wrong. Max, second starter. Nathaniel Hebert, the first starter. 
And then you have Johnny Patinod. He's the leading scorer, averaging, Hebert is, averaging 22 points per game. Connor Smith, the junior, had a huge game against Ken, about five threes in that contest. We need that kind of shooting again. Noah Hebert, the nephew of Nathaniel. And Will Manikis. And Aiden, the brother of Noah. And the nephew of Nathaniel. A little. And JT, he had 22 the other night. We need him to produce like that. The last time they played Great and Gloucester, JT didn't have a great game. I mean, he was solid. Let's, let's not mix things up. JT is always good. But he didn't have his best game. And I think that uh, they need him tonight to play like he did the other night. He was just catching, releasing. He scored inside. He was looking for a shot constantly throughout the night. JT averages over 20 points per game, over 10 rebounds a game. He's a double-double. And he's going to CMCC next year to continue playing basketball and majoring in HVAC, which a great career these days, in case you don't know. Work is plentiful, pay as well. Excited for him. So we have Willa Max Manikis, Connor Smith, Connor Slocum, and JT Pound. And they go against the number one seed, Nathaniel Hebert, Johnny Patnode, Noah Aiden Hebert. And Green Gloucester controls. Hebert right in. Shot partially blocked. And Carter Libby, the other starter, number 33. Hebert to Libby. Libby fakes, dribbles. Freeport playing man. A long three, no good. Rebound, Slocum. Gray likes to bring pressure. Even after a missed shot, they'll come right up and get in your face. Freeport didn't handle the pressure well late in that game against Kenny Bunk. That might have been a mistake on Kenny Bunk's part for not pressuring more earlier. An errant pass, stolen, back and forth. Libby, got it. Hebert to Libby. And there's the full court press. Will Manikis brings it up on Libby. They might rely on him. Wide open Slocum. Slocum loses it. And then is tied up. It'll stay with Freeport on the arrow. Noah Hebert. Noah's 12. Aiden's 13. Nathaniel 1. Try to keep them all straight. Connor Smith, first three, rattles in and out. Hebert comes back, drives, pulls up, takes, makes. Big shot. Didn't look like he was in rhythm, but sure looked good when it finished. Will Manikis against Libby will, oh, he gets stripped. Stolen and back comes Great Gloucester. Pass inside for Pattenod. Deflected out of bounds by Slocum. 4-0. 6.33 to play here in the first quarter. Jay Harper, along with cameraman Michael Rulo with you. Semi-final action. One versus four here in Class A. When I started at Freeport, we were Class C. Then we got pushed to B. Now pushed to A. Timeout, Coach Tracy. As Patnod hits another pull-up jumper, 6-0. And a great start for Greater Gloucester. Freeport, the great thing about Freeport is that they are accustomed to falling behind. They're accustomed to hanging in there. They're accustomed to fighting back. But 
in all case scenario, the, the game against Kenny Bunk, they came out strong early. They hung in there. They were up one and a half, and then they went on a huge run in the third quarter and uh, really took control of that game. Freeport so far has only had one shot. They've turned it over twice and again. Gray saw the end of that game versus Kenny Bonk, and they saw Freeport struggle with the pressure, but they bring it anyway. They did again at the end of the season. Not sure he traveled it. I mean, it didn't look pretty, but it didn't look like his back foot came up. Travel the call. So third turnover here for the Falcons with only a minute 45 played in the first quarter. Not a good start. Hebert drives, kicks back for his brother. His brother drives, loses control, but gets it back. Quick pass to Libby. Good quick ball movement. They're snapping the ball around, that's for sure. Freeport with a steal. Romanikis. And they come with their full court pressure right after a turnover. Somebody picks them up. They go to Pound. Pound gets hit. No foul called. Hebert was going up for the slam, and they call a foul on Pound. It looks like Noah Hebert. He grabbed onto the rim. Coach Tracy doesn't complain much to officials. He doesn't have too many words, but he did have a word with one of the officials after that play. Hebert misses the first. Freeport yet to score. We played two and a half minutes. One out of two. Max Manikas bringing it up versus Nathaniel Hebert. Now they go to Will, to Connor, Slocum, to Pound. Pound has to find something. He's getting hit, harassed, pull up jumper. Got it! Falcons desperately needed that. 7-2 our score here with five minutes to play in the first. Hebert, a long three. No good. Pound the rebound. You gotta love JT. You got JT for three. Rhymes, and of course that's used a lot in the NBA. But don't want to use that too often because of that. But you also got Pound with the rebound. He's a rhyme waiting to happen. Misses, gets his own board, back up. He'll draw the foul and shoot two. Foul on Noah Hebert. And Pound will shoot two. Very good free throw shooter throughout the season. Coach McCarthy for Greater Gloucester pushing everyone up. You don't see that too often. They take the ball back from the shooter and let the guy come in. JT makes one of two, 7-3. Hebert hangs, holds, comes up short. Ooh. Slocum got away with the travel. A lot of people noticed it. Max Manikis, three ball, bang! 7-6. Oh, Nathaniel Hebert answers. He averages 22 a game. He drained the three. Pound getting double team and whack. No call. He gets it off from Manikis. Connor Smith stripped from behind. Goes to Slocum. Slocum bumped on the baseline. Smith, three ball, no good. 
10-6 the score. Falcons down four. Nice drive. Aiden Hebert. He can elevate. 12-6. Connor Smith had the huge night the other night. Five of six from three-point land. He's over two so far. We need him to heat up. Manikis, nice move. Will. 12 to 8. Panod called for the travel. Alex Berry checks in early. And Connor. Pound gets a quick break. Cody Wall comes in. So Barry and Wall in, along with Smith, Slocum, and Max Manikas. Heinrich checks in. He had a solid game the first time these two teams met. It's a big guy. Wall in trouble. And then he uses a dribble. I thought he might have got not had a dribble. And they call a reach and foul on Gray. Gray fouls on number one. They keep his first, team's second. And where are this plays Noble Friday night back here at the Expo. It's interesting, too. These games used to shift after the semifinals to the Civic Center. They do not this year. It's all played here. Slocum open. Tries. Comes up short. Long rebound out to Patnard. He pushes. Patnard pulls up. Jumper. No good. Heinrich throws up. No good. Wall. Good rebound. Down, heading to the two-minute mark in the first. Falcons down four, 12-8. Slocum with it on the baseline. Stops, pulls up, comes up empty. The rebound, Hebert. He'll push the tempo. He's got to meet him at the foul line. He can drive. Kicks it out for his brother. No good. Weak side, though. Heinrich, the big guy's there. Oh! Heinrich, the tallest player on both teams. I would guess he's about 6'5". It's kind of crazy with high school rosters these days. They used to list heights. That was a, a part of <laughs> basketball. You want to know the height. Nobody lists them anymore. Or very few teams. So unless you go ask the opposing coach or, or, or whatever, you don't know. You have to, like, use your gauge. Pound and Manikis check back in. 13-8, Heinrich made his first. Lefty makes them both. Full court pressure still there. They're going to press every chance they get. And the Falcons do struggle against press. One ref said he was out of bounds. The other ref called the foul. Number one, Nate Hebert. His first team third. It's called on Nate Hebert. For the Patriots, number 11, Colby Mitchell. Colby Mitchell sees his first action for Greater Gloucester. Pound, turn, shoots. Ah! Tickles the twine. 14-11. Oh. Colby Mitchell into the lineup, drains a three. Answers pound back, 17 to 11. Down under a minute. 
play in the first. Pound stops, pulls up, comes up short. Manique gets the rebound. He could have gone back door on him, but he didn't. Smith will try. No good. Rebound. Ooh. Oh, Connor. Slocum, the tailbone. He landed right on it. My goodness. Oh, this kid is tough. So respect Stewie. Colby Mitchell, his first, teams four. The red turn ends up lineup for Freeport, number 13, Max Manicus. And then turn lineup for the Falcons, number 22, Bruce Dwyer. Slocum gets a seat. He'll try to recuperate. Don't know if he wants to sit down or not. Bryce Dwyer in along with the Manikas's Pound and Connor Smith. JT comes up empty. Libby the rebound, kicks it off for Hebert. Kicks in the corner, wide open. Three, no good. Pound grabs the loose ball rebound and Freeport comes back. Down six as we approach. Ten seconds left in the quarter. They go to Pound up top of the key. Dwyer for Smith. Manikis. We're under two. Got to shoot. Takes. No good. Quarter played here in Portland. Our score. Great Glosser 17. Freeport 11. You're watching Freeport's Educational Channel 14. Checking in for Freeport. Number 11. Get a quick look at the stats. Rowan Bradford here. Giving us the basketball ranking stats. Not sure what I'm looking at yet. Okay. Now we're getting to some players. Minikus, Max, Smith. Max has three, Will two, Pound has six. Full scoring for Freeport. Can you pull up Gray? Gray's stats. This is Gray. And then three points down here. Okay. As we said, Rowan Bradford helping us stick out his phone here. So trying to get to the, the scoring piece. As we start the second quarter, three point with the basketball. Down six. Smith regains floater. It'd been great to see something go for him and he get himself going. Report gets it back. Not the best pass. Malikas gets it back. Pound gets hit. Regathers. They go for Smith. Smith, good fake. Drive. No. Can't finish. Smith's got to keep firing. He'll find a shot eventually. Oh, Slocum. Three ball. Bang. Every time we've hit a three, Gray's come right back and answered with a three. Let's see if the Falcons can avoid that kind of damage in return. Hebert tries. It's long. Max Manikis the rebound. Dribbles it up. Comes in, pulls up. 
Got it. Out of two, just inside the three. On the Falcons within one. Timeout, Coach McCarthy. And that brings the Freeport faithful up to their feet. Timeout will be a Patriots timeout. 30 seconds, timeout. Again, great crowd on hand this Wednesday night here in Portland. The late game, this started at 7.45, almost past my bedtime. 8.14 right now on the official clock, Eastern Standard Time, just into the second quarter. But Freeport, again, they get down, they hang tough, they just keep scraping away. Coach Couple of nice plays by Max Manikis. 17 16, 620 to play in the first half. And just released the Kenny Bung game out to the public. A 72 hour delay with the MPA. Nice pass inside. Blocked. No call. Libby wanted a call. He didn't get it. Will Manikis. Comes back, Smith. He got rid of it before he stepped. Finds Pound, turn around, no good. Rebound, Sloak. Uh, in for Pound, lost, back for Slocum. Slocum dribbles it out, resets the offense. Freeport with the first chance to take the lead here. Oh, what a move! Oh, it won't fall! Will Manikis with a great drive. Through traffic, oh, Hebert back. Nothing. Pound the rebound. Up for Smith. Up for Slocum. Slocum drives. Pulls up. Off the window and got the kiss. 18-17. Falcons with the lead. Libby drives up and under. Pretty. That was Carter to Libby. He scored. They go up top for Pound, now for Max Manikis. Gets a screen from Pound. Looks at it, thinks about it. JT going to get doubled from behind. Hebert wants it, called the other way. Heinrich back in. He did some good things when he was in earlier. Big body, he can rebound. Falcon struggled to get it in, find Pound eventually. Down to Slocum, back for Pound. Nineteen eighteen. Patriots lead by one. The one in the four seed right here. And they battle back on the second of February with Green Gloucester prevailing at Freeport, 64-56. Turn around, Manikas rattles in and out. Rebound, brother. Back to corner, need it, got it! Connor Smith's first bucket of the night, a big one, puts him up two. Hebert drives in, gets it stripped from Smith. Pound spins. Oh, great pass underneath. It rattles out. Still loose. Slocum fighting. Ball comes out to Manikas. Back for Slocum. He's going to go back in. He goes to the paint, gets hacked. Oh, my goodness. There's just no quit in that kid. Connor Slocum keeps fighting and fighting. He had a great move inside. The ball wouldn't fall for him. He got his own rebound and threw it back up. But now he gets two free throws. The Gray fans not loving it. Freeport fans elated. And the lead is three for the Falcons. One out of two. 
pound the rebound. Gets hit. Hebert, wow, he's a leaper. He's a slasher. Aiden and Noah are both seniors, as is Nathaniel Hebert. All seniors, all can play. All from the same bloodline. Slocum hanging tough, draws the foul. 22-21, Freeport still up by one. Alex Berry will give Max Manikis a blow. Catch, shoot, are you kidding me? Connor Smith lighting it up. After missing his first four shots, he's made his last two. Oh, that's a charge. Called on Nate Hebert. And was it Slocum that drew that? I'm sure it was. And with three minutes left, Heinrich and Libby go to the bench along with Nate Hebert. That's his third personal. That could be huge in this one. Falcons up 25-21, their biggest lead. Smith brings it up. Working against Mitchell. They go to pound. He has Schaefer on him. Smith again. This time no good. Aiden Hebert rips it away from his brother. Pull up, long three, got it. Pat Node knocks it down, a timeout. That's a big bucket. 25-24. Pulls the Patriots back within one. Pat Node had been struggling, that's a big bucket for him. A lot like Smith, they need his shooting. Nice drive, oh my! Slocum for two. Back come the Patriots. They go baseline. Kick it back out, Hebert. Reverses for Brother. Brother will take a look. He'll make it! Wow! Aiden to Noah. Noah drains the three. The lead now gone, 27 all. The scoring pace is furious here. Pound, wide open, a long three. Oh, yeah! JT. An NBA three. 30-27. Pull-up jumper. Boom! Pat Node. Heating it up. He's a shooter. And a pull-up J. Beautiful. Elevates. 30-29. Falcons by one. A long pass over. Stolen. Hebert fires it up. Lefty shot. No good. Rebound. Up. And Pound able to secure the rebound. He might have got away with a foul on the rebound, but he gets it. Falcons come back. Under a minute to play in the half. Up one. Slocum had some room to go middle. He doesn't. Nowhere Hebert tries to steal it. I'm not sure how they say that was off Slocum, but somehow they got that one wrong. Wow. You wonder if it's a makeup call. Wall comes in for pound. Falcons up 30 29 over the Patriots as we wind down this amazing first half. Boy, the second quarter has been unbelievable. Oh, that's offensive. Complete push off with one hand. No question, the hand got out and he slammed him to the ground. It's on Aiden Hebert. Wow, so the Patriots in a little bit of foul trouble. Two players with three fouls and two very important players. Uh, 
That note pushing away on Manikis. Manikis keeps going to the rack. Ah! Coast to coast. Puts the Falcons back up three, 32-29. Hebert back, goes for Patnod. He's been on fire. He drives, kicks in the corner. Wide open three, oh my. There they are. Colby Mitchell. And they got some bench players playing some big roles here for the Patriots. Oh, slap in, almost a steal, ball loose. Falcons get it. Oh, the cutting pass. And that'll do it in the first half. We played 16 minutes. Our score, Falcons 32. Drained loss of 32. The crowd loving it. Both supporting cast standing and cheering their team as well they should. Unbelievable. Freeport scoring. Connor Skogum has eight. Connor Smith, six. Will Monique is four. JT Pound, nine. And Max Monique is five for the Falcons scoring. Moves on to the Class A South Final at 845 here at World's Exposition Building to face the Noble Knights who qualified for the final earlier. For Grady Gloucester in the first half, Mitchell, two big threes. Pat Node had seven. Hebert, Nate had six. Carter Libby, four. Nate Hebert, five. And Aiden Hebert, two. To round up the 32 points for Grady Gloucester. Just an incredible first half. Or excitement back and forth. And again, both teams going at it. Freeport down early, came back, tied it, and finally took a lead. They had a five-point lead, and Patriots just keep coming back. And they got some role players coming off the bench, hitting big threes for them. Where Freeport, they finally got Connor Smith going, and JT, of course, is doing his part. But the Manikas boys are playing tough inside, and, and Slocum, he's a beast. What can you say about that kid? Just works so hard to continue to, to give Freeport everything they need and then some. He's taken two charges here in the first half. He got fouled on a rebound, knocked on his tailbone, um, playing with a bruised or broken uh, tailbone. He still keeps fighting. Our score again, 32 all. We'll take a short pause. We'll come back with second half here in just a moment. Hit record. Welcome back to Portland and the Expo. Jay Harper along with Michael Rulo and uh, Rowan Bradford helping us tonight with stats. Former Freeport student, graduated last year. But again, that first half, Freeport, nine points from JT Pound, uh, six from Connor Smith, eight from Slocum. Will Manikas had four. Max Manikas had five. And just a great effort by the Falcons. And created Gloucester, they're not backing out. They got two key players with three fouls. It could prove to be by coming off the bench for them. Colby Mitchell hit two big threes, um, and Heinrichs played well, the big kid off the bench. Um, this is a war. This is what high school basketball is all about, and it's just why you enjoy the game, the crowd. This place is near sellout capacity. It really is. When you look at both sides and both fan bases, and I'm, I'm just impressed, and I, I'm just hopeful that Freeport can keep Hanging in there and doing their thing. It's been a remarkable season for these seniors. Eight seniors on the team. Four get a ton of minutes. Cody Wall back, finally able to play some. He's getting some minutes. He's the fifth senior. And then, of course, they have three off the bench. Simons, Forrester. And I uh, hope I can think of the eighth one here in a minute. We are underway in the third. Pat Node, he's had a good first half, the floater. And JT Pound was gonna block it, and then he must have pulled off it. Because it almost looked like he blocked it, and then it must have gone awry. Pat Nod had a great first half. Johnny can can shoot and he can definitely elevate. Aiden and Noah Hebert, they can slash. Oh, Pound got in there. He should have turned and shot. 
He kicks it back out. Freeport. First possession, the second half. We're tied at 32. Connor Smith took him a little bit to get going, but he hit two big threes late. Wide open, three ball, bang! Slocum with now 11 in double figures. And back at you, no. Long rebound, Smith at it. Oh, Connor Smith turned and whipped away with it and it looked like he got hit, but no call. They said Smith's possession threw it out of bounds. So Gray will keep it. That nod gets a break. Quick blow. Hebert brings it up. He'll take it. Long three. Open. Makes it. Right back at you. 35 all. And they got some players playing well tonight. They find Pound. Pound turns. They go to Manikas. Slocum again open. This time long. Libby the rebound goes off for Nate Hebert. He brings it up. Slocum on him. They kick for Noah, Aiden, and back. Pace has been furious since halfway through the first. Falcons, pound, steals the ball, gives it off for Will Manikis. He'll bring it up against Libby. Slocum gets a screen. Now he catches. He'll shoot deep. Got it. Three for JT. We've had nine points scored, all threes. Do we got, oh my, this is ridiculous. And Carter Libby's making threes now? Who on their team can't make a three? 38-38. Both teams with two threes here already in this third. Smith with it. Dribbles away. Pulls up. Off balance. No good. Loose ball rebound. Oh, almost had it. He's a three ball machine. No good, but a rebound. Hebert. Kicks it back out. Mitchell pulls up. No good. Oh, tall. Nice rebound, but Hebert loose. Falcons fighting for it. Tipped away. Mitchell thinks about it. Goes back for Hebert. Scrappy. Lippy. Oh, my goodness. What is going on? Was not aware that Carter Libby could make threes. Now not only is he making them, he's just draining them. Stolen. Back comes Libby down to the corner. Kicks it back out. Gray up three now. Other Hebert. Oh my goodness. Coach Tracy might need a timeout. He's looking for it. Good pressure. This is just crazy. And Coach Tracy gets his timeout. So let's, let's do the math here. Graydon Gloucester, 12 points here in this third quarter. Four threes. Freeport, six points, two threes. Okay. And again, Graydon Gloucester, you, you, you take a look at their bench and their team. I mean, everyone on their team, on their roster that's played so far, is making threes. Hard to defend when everyone can spot up and drain a free. Would have never thought Carter Libby was a three-point shooter. Hebert, Aiden, and Noah, the, tw the twins, maybe, but they're more slashers. They're making threes. And then coming off the bench, Colby Mitchell, he's made some. Pat Node, Nate Hebert, yeah, those are three-ball shooters. But what a furious pace. Freeport needs a good possession here. Any kind of a bucket would be a help. And they gotta not fall in love with the three themselves.
Oh, Aaron pass inside. Looking for Pound. Pat Node floats and scores. He's the one that got the steal late to seal the game against us with that same patented type of move. Gets way up there and just freaking literally doesn't have to go up. He can lay it off the rim, same height, and shoot. Loose ball foul from behind. Brady lost the fouls on number three, Johnny Gatno. His first team's first. Forty-six thirty-eight. Gray has opened up an eight-point lead here. Stolen again. And I said Libby stepped out of bounds, so it'll stay with Freeport. Heinrich will come in and replace Libby. Nate Hebert back in. Pound will get a break. Somebody else has got to step up here. Mitchell on Manikas. Smith coming off his dribble. They're going for Wall. Wall thinks about it, kicks it back out. Slocum. Nice move. Connor Slocum. Big bucket. He's had a great game so far. They need him. No, no, no. It went off his foot. Wow. It was tipped by Freeport. It looked went off the leg of the gray player. I'm surprised he didn't check with the other official or the other official didn't overrule him. It was pretty obvious to see from up here. Right down in front of us. Hebert goes in, gets it to hang and fall. Hey, 48-40, the lead's still eight for Gray. Smith pulls up. Long, rebound, loose, picked up by Gray to Gloucester. Hebert to Mitchell. Mitchell misses a bunny. And again, immediate pressure by the Patriots. Again, they come for the double team. Ball almost thrown away. Slocum gets it. Looking to go to work. Slocum. Oh, couldn't finish, but he got a good move. He'll shoot two. Let's see if Connor can make both. 48-40, a minute 50 remaining in the third quarter. JT Pound set to come back in along with Alex Berry for the Falcons. Number 12. Connor Made his first. We'll see if Connor can make, make them both. Timeout called by Greater Gloucester. Greater Gloucester timeout will be a 60 second timeout. Full timeout. Furious pace ever since about four minutes into this game. And Gray here in the third quarter has just found everyone that can take a three, can make a three. But it has been crazy. Sixteen points, get a look at the crowd and Freeport Faithful here in the building. Gray Faithful. The red definitely stands out as a color, as a team color for sure. Freeport's got a lot of maroon and black throughout the building. Uh, this a little more high scoring, I think, than we might have expected. But when both teams are draining threes like they have been. Connor Slocum taking a second. Free throw, he made the first. It's 48-41, Falcons down seven. Go, 
Nope. One out of two, once again for Connor. Hebert goes for Nate Hebert. He tries to go to work. Pat Node pulls up, fakes, takes, he makes. Pat Node stayed patient in the paint. Got his shot off. Falcons need a bucket. And Pound gets stripped from behind. That's so great. They'll, they'll leave their man. They don't, they're not afraid to gamble and double team. Sneak up from behind. They're great at it. 50 to 41, the biggest lead of the night. And they're not going to call foul. <laughs> Patriot fans don't like it. Come in for pound. Gray got a warning. Freeport in dire need of a bucket here. Down nine as we head under 45 seconds in the quarter. JT, turn around hook. Big bucket, 50 to 43. Hebert drives base, kicks out. Mitchell, good dribbling. Pat Node looks, goes back for Hebert, using good clock. And with the lead, they should. And now they'll pull it back out and look for the last shot. Pat Node with it. And Freeport tries to buckle in. They trail by seven. Big momentum chance here for Gray and, of course, for Freeport. They come up with a stop. Pull up jumper. No! Oh, my goodness. Hung on the rim for quite some time. Falls away. Great third quarter here in Portland. Gray to Gloucester. Scoring 18 points. The Falcons score 11 and, therefore, the lead Four great to Gloucester, 50 to 43. They hit four threes in that quarter. Four in a row to start the third quarter. The Falcons hit two. The Gray fans getting up and firing up their crew as we get ready for the fourth. Huge crowd. Take a look at them. They're into it. The girls team and boys team travel so well from Gray. They have for years. They've built some really good programs and Freeport starting five, do a little huddle, encourage each other. We're not done yet. There's no quit in Freeport, that's for darn sure. Freeport will get the ball to start the quarter. Down seven. What makes Gray so good is their pressure. Their defense is as tough as their offense. And they bring it. Three points handle it well for the most part tonight. Connor Smith, wheels, Slocum. Student bodies for both schools now getting into it even higher than they were already. Smith open. Got it! Connor Smith with a big bucket. The younger brother of a thousand point scorer at Freeport, Caroline Smith, who graduated four years ago. Just finished her college playing days. Oh my goodness, come on. This is crazy. Nate Ebert, every time Falcons hit a three, back comes Gray with a three. It's hard to even fathom. Pound will take a three. Oh, God. We are lighting it up here in Portland. Who's going to answer for Gray? 
You can't let any of them take a three. They can make them. Every kid on that floor, I think, has made a three for Grady Gloucester. Wide open. Libby, not good. Rebound, Manikis gets it off for Smith. There comes the pressure right away. He gets it back from Manikis. Falcons down four, have a possession. Up and under, yes! Slocum takes it to the rack. Falcons back within two, 53-51. Pano drives, pulls up, hangs, holds, hits. Manikas dribbling out of traffic. Cross court. Manikas long rebound to JT. JT catches, shoots. Oh, off the mark. 55-51, Gray with the ball, 5.30 remaining in the fourth quarter. Semifinals here in Class A. It doesn't get any bigger or better. This game has been electric. The crowd has helped the players, and their skills is unbelievable. They go in for Libby. He could have had it stripped from behind. He didn't. He returns, spins, Libby goes back. It strip, ball loose. Uh, last touch by Smith. Yeah, but Connor's sister, I was uh, unaware of that, that they were brothers and sisters. I had um, Caroline in my advisory for four years. She's a thousand point scorer for Freeport. Terrific player. I'm pretty sure she played at Bowdoin College. Just finished her career, saw her before the game. Somebody had just pointed that out to me last week. I didn't know it. <laughs> and I've done how many? Six, seven games? Connor Smith, the only junior in the starting lineup for Freeport. He'll be back. He can shoot it. Manikas has it stripped. In trouble. Tipped again. My goodness. The ball pinballing around. And Freeport gets control. Down four. A lot of time still to go. Four and a half. But Gray's defense, that is tenacious. Slocum in, he gets hacked. Slocum has played one hell of a game. Now he's, he's laboring. He's definitely been battered and beaten around. And he continues to put his body on the line. Building quiet for the first time tonight. Connor misses the first. Mitchell comes back in. He's been very efficient off the bench for Gray. One out of two. Connor's, that's been his scenario tonight. He was making the first, missing the second. Now he made the, missed the first, made the second. A one out of two, 55-52, the lead three. Hebert tries, not good. Rebound, Manikas. Freeport with a chance to tie with a three. Down three, four minutes to play. Coach Tracy wants a timeout. He'll use a full. What a game. What a game. Michael Rulo on camera. Jay Harper along with you. I've done a lot of games in my career. Westbrook College, USM, Portland Mountain Cats, Midcoast Sternman, a couple of semi-professional professional teams, Thornton Academy, sports for years and years. Um, this one ranks up there with, with a lot of them. Westbrook College was my favorite to do. Coach Grafham and the Wildcats, they ended up merging with UNE. That's why you don't, a lot of people might not know who Westbrook College is. They had one heck of a basketball program in Portland off of Brighton Avenue. He did a ton of their games and then the Midcoast Sturman uh, semi, well it was a professional league. They, the pay, players got paid 
up in Rockland, and I did that two years ago, and Coach Grafham had come back out to Maine from Missouri and coached them for a season, got me to do the games, and that was pretty special too. The excitement of this game, the tenacity, the back and forth, the quality of play, this is, <laughs> this is unbelievable. I'm thoroughly impressed. Come on. Let's see what we got in the final four here. We're at the four-minute mark. Falcons down three with the basketball. A starting five out there for Freeport. They play almost all the minutes, and they're doing it again tonight. Being patient, looking for a good shot. That's a shot that Will has been able to take. Does not opt for it. Smith, open. Off the mark. Long rebound. Pound rebounds. And they said he stepped on the, the baseline, out of bounds, and they'll go back to Gray. Aiden Hebert will come back in. You know, they'll replace Colby Mitchell. Libby will come back in. Schaefer was in briefly. Gray's been able to stay away from the fourth foul for the, the two that had three fouls in the first half. Libby working on pound. Hebert. They go base. Nice move. Patton out, out for Nate Hebert. It's three. Off again. That's rare. He's a good shooter. He's had a couple of air balls tonight. Falcons able to hold. Gray will come back with their pressure. 308. Falcons down three. Report being cautious here. They like to get it to pound when he comes up to the high post. He's got it now. Will Manikis and Libby covering him. Max Manikis goes in the corner for Slocum. In for pound. He's got to take it. The hook shot comes up short. Rebound. Hebert. Hebert back. Got the push. Floats it up. No good. Max Manika is going to get double teamed. Got to get rid of it. Gets it off for Smith. Noah Hebert with a kick. It'll stay with the Falcons. 227. We're in a quite a scoring slump here after all the tenacious amount of buckets in that third quarter. Here in the fourth, a little bit slower. Both teams' defenses has picked up. Falcons going to pound. In the post, goes up, foul. Pound loves it. I believe that's on Aiden Hebert. Oh, it is. Missed his fourth, but Aiden Hebert is fouled out. And it's not like Gray doesn't have players to come in behind him. They got a ton of talent. I mean, he's a player for sure. JT, a rare miss at the free throw line. One out of two. Two-point game, 55-53, two minutes, 10 seconds remaining. Freeport fans coming up. Defense looking for it. Hebert almost ball loose. A late whistle and a foul. And I think it was probably a good call. It looked like Manikas hit him. Freeport fouls on number 23. Will Manikas, his first. Team's first. You're thinking two nights he would get that last name correct by now. I think somebody might have told him. Pat Node goes back out for Hebert. Hebert drives, pulls back. Pat Nod. He can get a shot from anywhere. He drives, fakes, pulls up. There it is. No good. Pound the rebound. Freeport Faithful telling Manikis to push it. Falcons. 
Falcons down two. Chance to take a lead or at least tie. JT Pound going to work. Oh. Again, I don't like that call for numerous reasons. But number one is he fell. He did not have possession of the ball when he fell. He went to the floor and got possession. That's not traveling. He was dribbling. They turn it over. Now Gray can be very patient and wait for fouls. Team fouls. Freeport only has one team foul. So they're going to have to start fouling. And Gray's going to call the timeout. Freeport in danger right now. Down two. Gray has the basketball. They only have one team foul. They have to, they have to foul four times before they can send Gray back to the free throw line. But I still question that. Did Pound ever have possession when he fell? He was driving on a dribble, got tripped, went down. He, he landed on the ball, but I never saw him grasp possession like he stopped. To, that's not traveling. Traveling is when you have possession and fall down, not when you don't have possession. I don't know where all these fans are going. How can you leave at this juncture? You must. It must be another team or something. A minute six to play. A two-point game. Freeport bringing, oh yeah, what a great call and great acting job by Manikas. That was fantastic. Max Manikas, he got a little bump, he just sprawled out. We don't, I don't know if he's in the theater program at Freeport, but boy, he could certainly play a role there. That was just terrific. Falcons with the ball back. And they have a chance to tie or take the lead. 55-53. Smith with it on top. Nate Hebert covering him. They go for Manikas. Manikas fakes, drives, goes to the rack, goes for pound. Up! Oh, oh my goodness! It rattled out! Manikas got it back! He called the jump ball! No, he didn't! Wow, the ball was tied up for a half a second. Gray with it, they inbound, they get it off, they have numbers, and a bucket. Four point game. All that turned in a heartbeat. JT missed a bunny. Inside it rattled out, Manikas got the rebound, went back up and put it in. The ball got tied up for yeah, maybe a half a second, but not, not long enough for jump ball. And Gray breaks the pressure, goes the length of the court, and lays it in. I'm not sure if that was Nate Hebert or Pat Node who scored the final bucket. Gray's up four with 31 seconds left now. Tough. Couple of tough calls late. And again, you hate to make too much of it. It's high school basketball. But you certainly could question both of those and wonder. Both of them could have been good no calls. Freeport needs a bucket, then they need to pour on the defense. Both crowds up and cheering. 31.7 remaining. Got to get it in. Five second call. Unbelievable. Slocum with a quick foul. Not looking good now for the Falcons. That possession, they had to have something out of that. 
and they don't get the ball inbounds. A five second call. Another foul. They could call intentional, but let's see if they do. No, they do not. So third team foul. They still have one to give before the fifth and the two shots. But they need a steal. Uh, that one. Was he really going for the foul? They need a steal on an inbounds. You don't want to put them at the line with already a four-point lead in hand. Regardless, it's been an amazing game. Both teams have played their hearts out. It's been a great, great contest. And I admire both teams and both coaches, all the athletes. So that'll put the Patriots at the line for two. The only other option now we got is hit a three, get a steal, hit another three, and, and maybe you get to go to overtime. Pat Node rattles the first one in. Got them both. Three-point pushes. Got to get something off fairly quick. They lose it. And that's going to seal it. Gray to Gloucester. The one seed will be moving on. Connor Smith with a foul. And now that'll start a mass exodus here for Freeport fans, for sure. The Gray fans saying it's all over. Can't blame them. It is. One out of two, Falcons rebound, they got to push. 10 seconds, Smith will pull up, got it. Smith makes the three but commits a foul from behind. And that'll send Nate Hebert to the free throw line. Freeport fans cheering, as they should. What a great season. They'll end 14-6. and six. And again, they gave Gray everything they could handle and then some. But to Gray's credit, they certainly had an amazing team effort throughout their lineup. Eight, nine players contributing in a huge way. And their three ball shooting, their three percentage, I would guess that it probably was around 60%. Love to see that number. But when you make 60% of your threes and you take 17, 18 of them, you, you, you're most likely going to win. The Falcons will sit down the seniors. Max and Womanikis, JT Pound, Connor Slocum, and then junior Connor Smith. Just phenomenal. What a great season. You guys have been an absolute pleasure to watch and call your games. And hats off to Coach Tracy and his staff. Hebert makes the free throw. And they call the violation, I think. <laughs> Cody Wall will dribble it out. A great, a great victory for Greater Gloucester. They, they deserve it. And they'll see the handshake. So it'll be Greater Gloucester and Noble. Noble defeated Gray the next to last game of the season down in Noble. So that shapes up to be a great one too. This was amazing. There is nothing you can take away from either team. They both played their hearts out. 
and this game could have gone either way late. The Falcons, JT Pound had a shot, it rattled out. Manikas got the rebound, went up, and he made his shot, and they called the jump ball before he made the shot. That would have tied the game, and from there, things just changed. I just want to say congrats to uh, all of uh, the boys on the team and Coach Tracy and his staff, and I want to thank my cameraman, Michael Rulo for his efforts doing all these games with me. Um, it's a labor of love, and certainly I hope you enjoyed watching these games. This won't air for another three days because of the 72-hour MPA rule, but the Kittybunk game is airing now, and hopefully you can enjoy that, the W, but win or lose, this game is, is worth watching again. This is one I'm hoping, Michael, I get my biggest viewing numbers on my YouTube channel, Harper J1000, if you want to know. And I got all kinds of old games and different stuff on there, but a bunch of boys games, one girls game, and again, fans from both sides cheering as they should. This was an amazing high school basketball game played so well by both teams, and hats off. Congratulations to Gray, and good luck in their next round. Um, that'll be Friday night back here, 8.30 contest, a late one. Um, past my bedtime, so maybe it's a good thing, but <laughs> we joke. Anyway, for my cameraman, I'm Jay Harper saying so long, and, and again, enjoy. Take care, everyone.